Right, let's go. We're gonna start the video. Record this stuff here. What is the coffee dangerous for? This is Google, ladies and gentlemen. Coffee still has a potential risk, mostly with its high caffeine content. For example, it can temporarily raise blood pressure. Women who are pregnant, trying to become pregnant or breastfeeding, need to be cautious about caffeine. Really, really. Um. Oh, shit. Eh? What are the risks of drinking coffee? Restless and shakiness, insomnia, headache, dizziness, fast heart rate, dehydration, anxiety, dependency. Really? So you need to, to take more of it to get the same result. Really? Who should not drink coffee? Maybe we're going to find the answer here. Intake, mixing caffeine, alcohol, and other drugs. Pregnant. Well, is coffee harmful for liver? When consuming moderation, coffee is not harmful for the liver, says Google. In fact, studies show it might have several positive effects. This is about this here, which I have just posted here. This here, this stuff here. Because I know that Google regulates this. Because I know that on other occasions, uh, the news was different. That's why I know. I know that you see what this is. I mean, I can't even see my own blog. But here it is. This is the this is the one I have just posted on how they have even used coffee to cause a liver damage, a heart damage. Liver coffee and uh, excuse me, liver and heart uh, damage was intensified through the use of coffee while uh, forcing me to do exercise heavy duty exercise to uh, accomplish like a maximum potency uh, damage in the body uh, potency damage in the body so that i would even feel pain in my legs when standing up and drinking the coffee during mk ultra and something they alerted me something they, they were giving me all, all sorts of health advice based on results which they obtained through the butchery yeah whatever they learn through the butchery on me they eventually once it was impossible to reverse once it was impossible to i believe even survive without the medications these people started to give me an advice on how to last as long as possible with the severe damages they caused to my body so but what's interesting to me is that people that would go and would look for danger for the kidney for the liver or something like this they wouldn't know anything about if they go and google this stuff today this picture might be completely different tomorrow because the tomorrow maybe google is going to sort totally different articles at the top of their search results this isn't the first time this shit is happening it should happen already before when in poland they loaded me with x specials and Brainwashed under MK Ultra, how eggs are healthy to eat, super food, and I don't know what. I would Google, let's say, egg, eggs, calories, and you know what it would give me? It would give me like this 55 calories. The one was missing, and it was just enough, maybe for that week. To convince me that one egg only have 55 calories so it was a eat food to consume that you would use to actually lose weight then one time i went and i browsed this stuff again because i checked this stuff on two three occasions and it was always 55 calories the number was changed into 155 calories so how do you Think about that and it's also something they told me during mk ultra they're gonna do to me that's why i am taking a note of google today because of the video i posted because it's it claims that everything is that coffee is just not bad for absolutely anything coffee is bad coffee is very very bad not for a sleeping disorder or something like this Potential toxic toxicity. 
how the fuck would it be a toxicity if it actually clean if cleans your liver, right? They they don't they claim here that it cleans your liver, liver. I mean, it, it lowers the risk of liver conditions given if fibrosis builds up within the liver and cirrhosis. Drinking coffee can slow the progression of liver disease in some patients. Beneficial effects have been found. However, the coffee is prepared, filtered, in, instant lending. How about this here? How about this stuff here for the hard coffee? How about this stuff here? Now, the Google is assuring that while there is often concern about the links between caffeine and heart health, a moderate amount of tea or coffee, four or five cups a day, should be fine for most people. Research showed that this level of caffeine intake shouldn't be detrimental to your heart health, affect cholesterol levels or heart rhythm. So it must be good. Coffee, good for heart patients. Drinking one to two cups, even for heart patients, listen to this, may, be, may help word of heart failure. When a weakened heart has a difficulty pumping enough blood to the body. Oh, oh, that's nice, man. So it's 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 just a good news. It's good news for the liver. It's good news for a heart. It's absolutely good news all around. There is coffee is just completely perfect. It's not a problem. There is no problem with it. Uh, I actually I am gonna go ahead and I will. Uh, record the articles they came up with yeah we, we want to do this stuff here and we do want to record this stuff hard coffee bad no such thing as bad coffee good for you healthy for you heart all this stuff all good for you good news coffee good drinking too coffee coffee might help reduce the risk of heart failure caffeine heart disease is coffee bad And then you have an article here that some studies suggest that can increase the person's risk of cardiovascular events and others that they help to maintain good health. Hmm? Protective, you see, coffee is protective for the cardiovascular system. Not generally bad for the heart. So the coffee is just... Uh, a good stuff can be really beneficial if it's ca caffeinated for the heart. Yeah. Despite claims to contrary, coffee does not cause high blood pressure. Yeah. Can you drink coffee if you have a heart problem? You can fucking drink barrel of the coffee. Trust me, you can drink a barrel of the coffee till you drop dead, basically. Then nobody will know anyway what you did. Don't worry about it. What a fact. Does caffeine have on your heart? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's about 10 to 15 percent lower risk of developing heart conditions. Okay. Um, really? How about this here? Associated with a low risk of elevated liver stiffness, did not include fatty liver disease or steatosis set topper. So, the coffee, coffee is like really good for you, obviously.
strange that they don't list uh, coffee as the best drink that's a strange one yes i would agree with the lemon carrot juice green yes i would i would agree with that stuff that's what i would do here is why coffee is good for the liver uh, the same like for the heart there is no there is everything the coffee is like perfect 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 i don't know is it really so perfect or there is something else that today looks everything so perfect it's got to be something that today everything is so damn perfect military great poison few months ago was a it was a reality it actually paralyzed me it actually caused me a serious 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 problems since so as for i was brainwashed during nk Archer to not drink coffee at all uh, it comes to me as a surprising factor yeah they claim that it's going to destroy my liver my heart and so on and so forth and trust me that i felt problem during these violent mk ultra sessions uh, however uh, interesting that these people don't find anything wrong with coffee with caffeine linked to the liver or to the kidney heart I should say well let me explain something if it's bad for the kidney you can trust because it causes a poison right I mean, you're going to cause a poison with the kidneys so it's going to be bad naturally for your liver if it's bad for your liver it's going to be bad for your heart you know what i mean it goes through the kidneys so claiming that coffee is actually good for your liver and it's actually good for your heart is as stupid shit as anything in this possibly world possibly can be especially if you have an organ like this subjected to chronic conditions like was my case during mk ultra look at the connection between heart and kidney do i mean do i have to isn't that a beautiful picture right here it does explain something doesn't it and now tell me what exactly is a feature that connects heart and liver it's called kidney so how the fuck could it be coffee good for heart and for the liver if it's damaging to your kidneys you know what i mean don't fucking give me this shit This here, you see this shit here? This is what you would call a reality. This is what went on during MK Ultra. This is what they targeted, but it wasn't this only. They demanded from me a physical exercise, strain of the body, 
while loading me with a coffee with nothing other than coffee. They had me drink liters of coffee every day during MK Ultra. During MK Ultra, when you're drugged up, yes, the coffee was the drink, basically. This is how we functioned. We functioned with the coffee, pure fucking caffeine. This is how they, they got it done. This is why I was capable also to go on and on and on and on without the sleep. They also used Viagras. They used Viagras, they used coffee, they used this kind of issues to boost injuries, internal injuries. Of course, it translated all the way to the heart. You are not a superman to go week after week without sleep. With a total sleep deprivation forced to, to do exercise that is damaging to you. Yeah, I started to get sensitive. I started to get sensitive about the Google uh, for a lot of reasons, because Google did to me a lot of bad stuff that I want to document all this stuff. <laughs>